NASA's making bumblebee. NASA researchers are working on robot bees. According to new NASA plans for Martian exploration, robot Mars bees would use a rover as a mobile base for operations and charging. They can stay airborne for four to six hours. The space agency says the Mars bee is the size of a bumblebee with a wingspan similar to a cicada. According to NASA, the low Martian gravity reduces the power requirements for generating lift. It's because of this, researchers have incorporated a flapping wing design with a torsional spring to absorb wasted energy. The Mars bees will also be equipped with sensors and wireless devices. They'll use these to further map and sample the red planet, as well as search for methane gas, a key indicator of life, and farts. More on Mars. China's concept Martian forest city. Matt Damon sure could have used one of these concept Mars homes in 2015's The Martian. The concept from the Chinese Space Agency, Tongji University, and Stefano Boeri Architects would see a spaceship ferry a colony of massive pods containing forest cities from Earth toward Mars. Once the pods have touched down on the red planet, in Habitat reports they would use ecosystemic seeds to take root. This colony of forest city giant pods, dubbed New Shanghai, would also reportedly contain an infrastructure and an Earth-like atmosphere. Would you like to live in New Shanghai? Power up. NASA is testing a nuclear fission reactor prototype that could enable long-term stays on the surface of the red planet. The first humans on Mars will need to be able to generate power to transform the planet's water and carbon dioxide into liquid oxygen and fuel. Addressing this concern is the KiloPower project, a nuclear power system that comes with a uranium reactor core, which uses fission to generate electricity. The system can generate one kilowatt of electricity, which can power a toaster to 10 kilowatts, which can light up to 100 light bulbs. Four to five 10 kilowatt units will be needed to power the habitat charging vehicles, generate safe drinking water, and oxygen. The months-long testing for the KiloPower prototype began in November at the Department of Energy National Security site in Nevada. Though a flight test is at least six to eight years away, if all goes well, the technology could be ready by the mid-2020s to early 2030s. Even in space, you have to eat your greens. NASA hopes its astronauts will be able to keep up their veggie intake on future missions to the moon or Mars, thanks to a greenhouse project it's working on with the University of Arizona. The prototype lunar greenhouse is cylindrical, measuring 18 feet in length and more than 8 feet in diameter. The garden uses a hydroponic system in which water enriched with nutrient salts flows continuously through the roots of the plants. Carbon dioxide exhaled by astronauts can be absorbed by the plants. In return, the plants produce oxygen for the astronauts through photosynthesis. The exchange forms a bioregenerative life support system. NASA's Veggie Plant Growth System was the first fresh food growth experiment on the International Space Station. The space agency hopes to provide a more sustainable approach to long-term exploration on the moon, Mars, and beyond. Martian atmosphere could be used to make oxygen and rocket fuel. Mars may one day be able to sustain a human outpost with the help from the planet's own environment. 96% of the Martian atmosphere is made up of carbon dioxide. Researchers believe this abundant resource, combined with the cold Martian temperature and non-thermal plasma, can produce oxygen and carbon monoxide. Local production of these gases on Mars could, in theory, help sustain an outpost or even colony on the red planet with oxygen and help with the deeper exploration of the solar system using carbon monoxide as fuel. But that being said, it's all speculation for the moment. So it looks like we won't be joining Matt Damon anytime soon.